There is one other tome that I wish to share with you. The Crisis of the Era, the game that when it came out, it brought your computer to its knees. A game that is kind of like a horror movie. They will remake it, but it won't be as good as the original, which some might debate this is not the original, but in my opinion, the Doom that they recently made, I haven't played Eternal, is not as good as Doom 3. And of course, this wouldn't run maxed out on the X800. It would run sketchy on that 6600 GT. But on an X1900 XT, oh boy. I think that was actually a scene from Quake 4. We need to make sure it's cranked. What? High quality my ass, ultra quality. All the anti-aliasing, even though I don't think I can keep that much. Oh, you have to restart the game to update the graphics. We can hear these guys going. My uh, chipset's cooking. Now let's see. What? For some reason, if I put it up past 4X anti-aliasing, it dumps my resolution settings. There it is again. All right, 4X it is. Not sure what the story with that glitch is, except I can tell by my screen capture it stayed in the correct resolution. Yes, and we have 4X. All right, that's as good as we're getting. I don't even know why they offer 16. Maybe it's a driver conflict. This is the OG release of Doom, which means it was before uh, the flashlight was taped to your gun. Ah, well, I got a load of those FPSs. It might be V-syncing, but it's stuck on there. I'm not sure where I've been already here. <laughs> Exit to Mars City. I don't think you understand, Dr. Petruger. No, I understand everything. I'm telling you now, Doctor, the UAC is taking over this operation. Operation? Is that what you're calling it? The situation is out of control. It's not out of control, Swan. You are. I'll manage this, and you and your flunky will be taking control of nothing. You understand? Yes, Petruger. I think I do understand. Okay, plan B. Uh-oh. Where are my guns? Sorry, bud.
You gotta get good with your control muscle memory in this game. And we gotta go and look up the PDA to find out what the password is. If you're lucky, it's in the user email. Yeah, there it is. 586. Yes, give me all the things. Oh, a grenade. Can't see a damn thing. Oi! I got hung up on something. I got stuck in that little alcove. Stop, buddy. There's nothing you can do for me. They're all gone. <coughs> Surprised us. They just came out of nowhere. Access denied. There's still a few squads operating. But they're all cut off from each other. Try to find them. And if you click uh, to talk to him again, uh, he's gonna die. This game was awesome because at every turn, there was some machine doing some interesting thing and the lighting and the level design and the art and the thought put into the story. They had explanations for everything that was going on. It's not like a romp through Smurf World, like the new Doom, where everything's just argent this and argent that and argent this and argent, 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 Smurf, Smurf, Smurf. And unlike the new game, which is an arena game, get locked in a room, fight several waves of all the enemies, and then get unlocked, go to the next room, Get the thing, lock down, fight waves, rinse, repeat. This is an actual proper labyrinth game, much like the original Doom. That was unnecessary. I got some uh, frame lag there. Oh, great. You just do the same thing over and over again, don't you? I always got a kick out of the TD4s. I like the TD4s. Where am I now? fight that guy already. Uh, the pink demons. Not so pink. Flanked me. 
That is not where I wanted to be if I actually had to fight the guy. Ow. the Martian buddy cabinet. Marine, Bravo team reports there's some sort of unidentified growth taking over parts of the base. I don't know what it is, but it can't be good. Stay sharp. It isn't working. I tried everything, but computers aren't responding. I can't get root access to the systems. We can't do it here. We'll have to access the system somewhere else. All right, let's go. Another thing you're going to notice is that's the first time an enemy spawned. In the original Doom, in Doom 3, enemies didn't just spawn in all the time like they do in the new Doom. Spawning in was a specialty thing that happened once in a while. Now, of course, that's not taking into account nightmare mode, but oh, it's happening more often now. Oi! Can't even damn it see. Right, this is where I just was. Wait, did I get what I came for? The security clearance I need to open the other door? This game is even harder to play under bright studio lights. Oh, here we go. I think this is where we need to be going. Access granted. Access granted. And now, I think you know it. Marine, I've received a report that you haven't reached Bravo team yet. You need to pick up the pace. You can't wait for it. Reaching the communications facility quickly is imperative. Oh yeah, I saw that coming. I 
Cons not see you. Oh, let's trade. Bl oh, wow, that flashlight is strong. The UAC takes pride in its safety record. Please follow UAC procedures. I will. Snuck up on him, he didn't see it coming. However. Oh. Just the ambience in this game is something. Listen to this sound design. That's what I'm talking about. They're gonna scientifically explain what that machine is. What, no Argent? You mean there's actually science in this game? for Kyle Berger, research supervisor for the EPD project. Uh, the, uh, the elemental phase deconstructor is fully operational and the research data we have gathered so far is very impressive. Unfortunately, we had a terrible accident last week. Research assistant Patterson was calibrating one of the core committers in the chamber and witnesses say he appeared to see something. It's almost like uh, something was talking to him and uh, he backed right into the particle beam. It was not a pretty sight as it took off the backside of his head. He lived a few minutes, although I'm not sure you could consider that living, but they say his eyes rolled back and forth and he was trying to talk, although after losing that much brain matter, I'm sure it was his reflex actions. Anyway, due to this, I have enacted new safety protocols in the lab and we have stocked one of the storage cabinets with emergency medical supplies. The code for the cabinet is 752. End of book. Now, would you get a load of this machine? Would you just look at it? Just look at it, just look at that. And then check this out. If I go into my information, I picked up a, a video disc. Check this out. For generations, humankind has lived under the looming specter of slowly dwindling natural resources. Our new ventures on planets like Mars have only intensified our need to find fresh sources for metals, petrochemicals, food, water, and even air. To meet that need, UAC researchers have developed dramatic solutions. Solutions that will soon pay off for the UAC, its investors, and indeed the entire human race. Mars itself is our chief ally and the key to our solution. Look around at its vast red deserts, rich in naturally occurring iron oxides. They are the raw materials of our future. We have developed a process that destabilizes the atomic structure of pulverized iron oxide. 
and separates it into subatomic particles, which are then siphoned off to create new elements. Like alchemists of old, the elemental phase deconstructor allows us to transform red Martian soil into clean air, fresh water, and hydrogen fuel, the building blocks for a sustainable, human-friendly Martian environment. And this is only the beginning. With what? continued research, we envision creating ever more complex molecules, even organic matter itself. Atom by atom, the UAC is building an ever brighter future for humankind. What's that? Science? Where's the mystical magical Argent? Oh my, you mean they actually put some thought into the lore of this game? Oh, surely you jest. You can see the back of this machine. And these are the cleaner areas. We haven't even gotten to the grisly, grisly basements and boiler rooms in this place yet. This play, this, this game's just dripping with character. Just, just dripping. I don't want to stop playing. Oh boy. <laughs> they killed the lights on me again. Someone needs to tell game developers you don't need to recock the gun every time you reload it. Okay, we can't go that way, I think, and my health is extremely low now. machine who comes up with these ideas gas leak stopped fire extinguished Oi! 
There's more. And they cornered me. I think that's quite a bit enough of this. I'm gonna get carried away. All right, we're gonna save it and quit. And we're gonna pause. Check.